Hi guys, Herbalist40 here and welcome back to the channel. Um, so for today's video, again two objectives, um, same as usual pretty much, try and keep it simple. Um, we're going to be looking at a couple of screenshots that relate to my opinion on perspective, on how you're positioned in the game, you will see things different differently. Um, so for example here we're going to be looking at the path that leads to what been known basically as the peach and the apple um, and when we take a look at this path from a bird's eye point of view um, not only does it have the features of a snake somewhat uh, I know that's kind of a stretch but if you think about it it really kind of does you can also see that inside what would be the snake's head there is pretty much a symbol of an eye um, now in this first screenshot it's not quite as clear as it can be I'm um, just going to take a second look here, um, for some of you you might start to see it a little bit better now. Um, but in this third screenshot that's coming up, I chose to go online um, and it was night time. I was just trying to see if there was any differences between the two. Um, and in my opinion it is now going to be quite a bit clearer. Um, so you can, you can actually see it's kind of a spiral form from the outwards in and it does really form an eye there. Um, and again, th this is just a point of view on perspective. Um, so with the next screenshot coming up I've, I've switched to the city and I've also chosen to go into creator mode because I want all you guys to bear in mind that creator mode is a tool that we can use to, to, to look at things that aren't necessarily easy to see from a chopper etc. Um, so as you can see here the buildings not only form a juice um, but in the middle you can actually see an eye reveal itself pretty clearly the higher you get the clearer it becomes. Um, so once again I, I want you all to keep in mind when you're out there hunting and searching that different perspective different perspectives sorry on different things are going to give you different views and I will be bringing up this topic quite a bit because there are many places in the map where this becomes relevant um, but for the second part of the video I'm just going to switch to my HDR and we're going to talk a little bit about map overlays and how to and how not to and what you can trust and what you're not really supposed to lend much credibility to. So um, I'll catch you in the second half. 